is an honor to announce my running mate and the next Vice President of the United States, Paul Ryan. There's no better place to get a thicker skin than, you know, going up against Joe Biden in 2012. The next time you hear them say, don't worry about it, we'll get a few wealthy people to pay their fair share. Watch out, middle class. The tax bill is coming to you. That's why we're saying we need fundamental tax reform. There was still optimism, you know, I think going into that final week that we were going to pull this out. So it was a little bit of a, little bit of a shock. Paul was in a funk, as he puts it, uh, probably for six months after the election. And I think what ultimately got him sort of out of that funk in a lot of ways was the recognition that just because he hadn't won the 2012 election didn't mean that policy was dead, didn't mean that we didn't um, have the opportunity to still address these, these big problems. And then ultimately, you know, he's got three young children and if we don't solve some of these problems, we're gonna have a country that's not the kind of country that we're gonna pass down to our children. With a President Romney and Vice President Ryan, we were going to be able to do tax reform in, say, 2013 with Chairman Camp at Ways and Means and the two of them in the administration. Obviously, things didn't quite go that way. But what Chairman Camp wanted to do was put out a draft because he thought with, with his chairmanship ending that that was the best thing he could do to move the process forward, was put a bunch of ideas out there and use that to help build towards the future to get a, in a future Congress to get a tax reform bill that could actually become law. I think the biggest impediment was just, you know, trying to get everyone's head wrapped around the fact that we needed to completely change and reform our tax code. We needed to modernize, we needed to simplify, we needed to make it fairer. And, you know, getting a consensus in uh, the United States Congress is very, very difficult. Well, politics is always a matter of timing. And so much of the intellectual groundwork that Chairman Camp did came to fruition, but it wasn't ripe for passage at that moment. There's no way we could have pulled this off if we had just started in 2017. There's no way we would have gotten this done. The only reason we were able to get to where we are is because of all the early work that we in the Ways and Means Committee had put, starting with Dave Camp, in, into tax reform, because it took years to come up with the decisions the design took years to do that. And that's, that's the only reason we were able to hit the landing in 2017. Paul and I came on the Ways and Means Committee together. In fact, we sat in the two chairs uh, right behind us. So I, I remember when I got on the Ways and Means Committee, Jack Kemp called me and said, I never even got on the committee. Now you, you have no excuse but to get tax reform done. <laughs> that was, you know, back in the early 2000s. Let me just say, it's exciting to be here. And this is, like Earl, this is my first markup here. Too. And to have the chance to be sitting here at this markup when we are marking up another marginal rate tax cut bill is just truly a true pleasure. So when I got the gavel of the Ways and Means Committee, I was so giddy, so excited because I was just going to focus on getting tax reform done.